what up welcome back to the channel i'm more J and we are locked in season three of power book two ghost hasn't even aired and that drops march 17th to reek st patrick's day now we're all excited about that but we just got news that season four is confirmed and michael ely will be there now before we jump into this article and try to figure out what the hell is going to happen in season four if you like power content breakdowns theories and predictions articles like this hit your subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button and follow me on instagram right here now with him coming in this kind of gives us an idea of what could potentially happen in season three because they already given us the future now let's jump into this role see what he's going to be doing who's he going to be portraying is he good is he bad is he going to help Tariq, or is he going to be one of the people that actually bring Tariq down because we're going into season four so let's jump into it michael ely is in season four of power book two ghost deadline has an article that says power book two ghost renewed for season four michael ely joins as a series regular now that's one thing we know about 50 cent when it comes to the power universe when it comes to bmf immortals anything dealing with 50 if you are a star guess what he's going to bring you on to the show he's going to take your stardom and take it to another level that's what we do over here we're going to bring in all of our beloved actors bring them in give them a role and carry them on into the future so i want to see how he fits in with this series the beginning of this article is really going over everything I mentioned in the intro. Power Book 2 Ghost received the early season 4 renewal over at Stars ahead of this third season premiere, which is March 17th, aka we dubbed it Tariq St. Patrick's Day. Season 4 is currently in production in New York with the addition of Michael Ely, who joins the cast in the series as a regular role. Now they are producing it now, and that's what I was saying. Maybe we might see it late this year or early 2024. That's what I'm projecting it out. 2024 because we have enough shows right now that's going to carry us throughout this year let's jump into the character description now it says ely will portray detective don carter a rising nypd officer who was on track to become police commissioner until his wife was killed in a crossfire between rival drug gangs vowing to make the streets safer carter traded in his tie for a kevlar vest and now leads in an elite nypd drug task force that elicits concrete results against drug-related violence. While his achievements are noteworthy, public recognition, nothing can bring back his lost love. Now, Detective Carter seems like he's gonna be very interesting. We know how the police officers are in the BMF universe, in the power universe, all of these combined. Now, it seems like he's gonna be on the straight and narrow. He's trying to get justice in these streets. Now, are we gonna get a backstory from him or is it gonna be more of, you know, he just comes into the scene, he says his wife died and he vows to clear up the streets. So I wanna know, is there any connection with the Tejadas or anything of that nature? Maybe somebody, the drug dealers went to one of the schools, Tariq may have known. That's gonna be interesting to see how all this plays a role together. Then they give us a little bit of the third season of what we can expect. It says the third season of Power of Ghost kicks off with Tariq St. Patrick determined to get his trust, get back to his family, get out the game for good. The emergence of a ruthless new connect interrupts Tariq's plans to reunite back with his mother Tasha and his sister Yaz and puts him, Braden, and Effie back into business with the Tejadas as they're challenged to move more weight than ever before. Now, the Tejadas, they need a new connect too. The Tejadas... They have their internal problems also, especially with Zeke being dead, and we know that Blanca is back. So there's gonna be a lot of people out looking for who killed the global snitch, and we know that Monet did that. So season three is already gonna be jam-packed, and they're giving us season four information. This is gonna be very interesting. This article also tells us a little bit more about Tariq. It says Braden's bringing him in as an intern into Wall Street. We know that. Now, he's gonna be an intern at Braden's Weston's Family Holdings He's saying that the drug business will expand beyond the streets into Wall Street, while Tariq is also shown an alternate legitimate path to success. So Tariq, we know one thing about him. He's going to learn the game, but he's going to mess up the game also. And with Braden being there, you know his family's going to be looking like, are you really going to allow Tariq to do this? But hell, Tariq went to court. Braden took the stand and said he was the dope dealer and got everybody off. Now, <laughs> This is the this is the power universe, y'all. It wouldn't work in real life, but in the power universe, Braden is holding it down. I mentioned the internal beef with the Tejadas. 
it says uh, Monet Tejada set ablaze by the death of her son Zeke, who is willing to pay a hefty price to avenge her firstborn and keep the rest of her children in the business in line as she works closely with Davis McLean to solve Zeke's murder and keep the feds off her trail. Now, Davis is going to be back in here. We're going to have a money counter to see how much money he actually makes this season. We're going to have a lie counter with Effie. So there's a lot going on in season three. We got to figure out who killed Zeke. We know <laughs> we know who did it. Lorenzo did, but he's laying low. He's letting Monet do whatever she needs to do as long as the eyes aren't looking at him. And also, we did find out in season three there will be a Rico. It says business is booming when a staggering reveal forces Tariq to reckon with the betrayal from those closest to him and a Rico investigation mounting into the entire drug enterprise, pulling Tariq deeper into the business and even closer to the legacy of his father. Now, we all know Tariq wants to be his dad. He wants to be bigger than James St. Patrick. His mama wants him to be bigger than James St. Patrick. She wanted James to be the biggest dope dealer in New York City. But now Tariq is stepping up and involving Braden, his family, the Tejadas. Tariq has a lot on his hands right now. And season three looks like it's going to be crazy. I can't even fathom what's going to happen through season three leading up to season four. And for them to give us a season four renewal and updates that a new police officer is going to be here. I can only imagine that the dope game is about to expand a little bit too big for Tariq and Braden in season three. And Detective Carter in season four is going to give them a reality check. All right, let me know what you think about this. We haven't even seen season three yet, and they're releasing season four information. Typically, what they do in these kind of scenarios, we might have episode one, boom, it did great. Season four is renewed. But now they're giving us information about season four, and we know that Detective Carter is actually going to be there. So it has us wondering what exactly is going to happen in season three. How big is Tariq and Braden going to be expanding, especially out on Wall Street with the Weston Holdings? There's got to be a cliffhanger to take us into season four. So I'm really curious about all of that. Let me know what you think. How is season four going to alter your thinking about season three going into it? And do we need to know information about season four besides it being renewed? But of course, when you have a star like Michael Ely, hey, you got to release some kind of information to bring in that interest. So let me know what you think. I'm Modi J. If you like power content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.